Hi, this is Jenny from ByJennyLee.com. Today I'm making part one of how I make my bows for my door hangers. I always ship them flat. So these are flat bows for flat shipping. Okay, I am here gonna put my door hanger bow together. I have my ribbons. I have chosen four different colors, four different patterns here. And I have them about 10 inches each. I have some mesh tubing about 33 inches um, no science on that you can make it longer or shorter if you want it to depending on how you want it to look and this is a pipe cleaner an orange one and then I have some scissors which are terribly gunked up what I do is I lay my ribbons out so I am going to start with the bottom and I'm going to just crisscross them. It's super simple. There's no great magical way here. Okay, so you see how these are falling on the seam. So I'm going to switch those real quick so that they fall opposite of each other. Because that will bother me. Okay. No, it's still doing it. All right, I give up. There we go. Okay. And then I'm laying these across. And I have my pipe cleaner here. I'm going to start over here. And I'm just like pinching as I go. So when I gather them up, it just kind of looks like a pinched bow tie almost. Or like a hair bow underneath. And then I take my pipe cleaner. I'm using only a small amount because I need a little bit to put this in. So I'm going to put that around. And once I get here, I twist. I usually give it maybe three good twists. And then I'm going to bend this flat. And then I cut this off. And this is why my scissors also are terrible because I use them to cut my pipe cleaners. So don't do that. Use different scissors. Don't be like me. Okay, now I've got my layers here. And before I put this in, this mesh tubing keeps getting stuck to my sleep. Okay, I'm going to cut these in. Now, I do like to go staggers. So I like the these to be a little bit shorter and then the other tails to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to cut these at an angle here, just like you would normally cut to get your tails. Okay, so you see how these are shorter than those. I always ship my door hangers flat, so this is how I can still have like a fun fun bow accessory on them and it doesn't really matter if it gets smushed or anything there's not really a way to mess it up because it's already flat so it just works it's just it's a nice way to do it I know a lot of people are making rounds right now and obviously shipping those flat with the big puffy bows that won't work but in my next video, I am going to show you how I do a looped bow, but it's still flat. So I don't make big puffy bows, not normally to ship. I do when I make my wreaths, but those do not get mailed. So, okay. So now I've got all of my ribbons cut on that side and I'm going to go ahead and do this other side. Since I had them at 10 inches, they're already kind of at a good um, length. Don't have to do a lot of trimming. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. I love fall colors. Okay, so I kind of feel like this one is sticking out a little awkwardly. Can you tell? Can you see how this one is not quite right? So I'm going to trim it down just a little bit. A 
Okay, so now I can see this one underneath and then this one and then this one. All right, so there's that. So pretty, so you do not have to add this. I just add the mesh tubing because, I don't know, it's a little bit fun, it's pretty, it's got that like sparkly flavor in it. And the way that I like to do it is like, um, kind of like figure eight it like this. Okay, so it looks like like that. And then I'm going to just kind of secure it to the middle of my bow that I already made. I am going to use my same orange. That's why I kept this extra piece here. So I'm going to kind of halfway it there. Flip it over. Pull these. Okay, so now I do want to do it really tight as tight as you can and then twist. Okay, then I will have these two left. Now, I have tried it a couple different ways where I put a hole in the door hanger and then kind of uh, put this through and then tie it off on the back. Or you can just bend them over and if you use a stapler then you wouldn't have to worry about that excess anyway because it's hidden okay so I can move this around and make it pretty if one of your loops is too big like that you can just find like where is it and you can move these pretty easily to get them the size that you want so when I ship these flat yes they do go flat like that but this mesh tubing it it kind of bounces back, so I'm not really worried about it getting squashed or anything. Um, so then I have this pretty ribbon. If you don't want to call it a bow, that's fine. And that is how I do it. Then I would take a staple gun, typically, and I would lift this up. I would, I'll show you on here. So I would put it on my door hanger. I would lift this up. Had to grab my stapler. Here is my staple gun. It is a light duty craft stapler. So I would lift these up and this is the bottom one. So I would hold that down and then I would staple it as close to this inside part because that's going to keep it secure. So I would staple it there, one, and then I would push this down, and I would lift this up. Sorry, I don't want to actually put it in this little re-sign, but I just wanted to show you. I would lift this up. This is the bottom one, and I would staple it as close to there as possible, as close to here as possible, so that when I put this back, there's no, like, wiggle and jiggle in the in the ribbon it's on there really secure okay hopefully that makes sense and I will do another video in a few days to show you part two of how I make my flat bows for flat shipping of my door hangers all right thanks for watching bye